Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm gonna share my most recent Sassy Girl Aroma Haul. I'm a little late to the game with posting this, um, but I figured I might as well go ahead and film it now. This is from the pre-order that was the weekend of August 19th to 21st, I wanna say, somewhere in between there. I think it ended like August 20th or 21st. Either way, I just, I cannot believe how hard it has been for me to resist ordering from Sassy Girl Aroma. I just love her wax. Her blends always just perform so beautifully for me and I rarely ever have a dud from her. And now that she's doing pre-orders every week, I literally have to like fight myself to not order. And I tell myself I won't look at the list, I won't look, I don't want to tempt myself, but every week I find myself looking at the list because I have no self-control and I'm like, wow, that sounds great and that sounds great. And I literally have to like close out my tab and like tell myself like, no, Stephanie, you do not need any more. It, it's just so hard to resist her wax. She just always offers such a variety of blends in her pre-orders and I just, I'm just in love with her as a business. I think Julie's a great person. She's very accommodating and her wax is just phenomenal. So I could chat about her for like a half hour straight. So I know if you're into the wax world and vendor wax, I know, you know, most likely you're familiar with Sassy Girl Aroma and Julie and how phenomenal her wax is and how great her business is. So we're just going to get started. Um, so yeah, this is a smaller order for me, at least. I got six brittles here and I have a sample in her business card. So this is her business card, Sassy Girl Aroma. She basically runs her business through Facebook as far as communication and all that stuff. So I'll leave her um, website link down below. She does pre-orders every single Friday and they open at about 2 p.m. Central Time, so 3 p.m. Eastern where I am, and they stay open until about Sunday night. But as of late, I've noticed she's keeping them open until Monday at least, so you have a couple of days to order. My sample I got here is Radiant Leaves, and this is in a beautiful, like, maroon, dark red color. I believe this is a duplicate or duplication of Bath & Body Works' Radiant, Radiant Red Maple, which they had a couple of years ago. Um, I actually never had that candle. I've just seen it talked about in the group, so. Huh. This smells like bubble gum. <laughs> I know this is not what it's supposed to smell like, but it. This smells like bubble tape. <laughs> like, like the pink powdery bubble tape. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm not mad about it. That just reminds me of my childhood and buying that from the candy store and everything but it's just funny because I know that's not what this is supposed to smell like that's literally all I'm getting from this right now is bubble gum that is so bizarre I'm gonna have to look up what the notes are on this because obviously that's not what this is supposed to smell like so hopefully on warm it'll kind of come alive and be what it's supposed to be if any of you have gotten this brittle or this sample of Radiant Leaves, please let me know if this reads bubblegum to you because <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy. Oh my god, I hope my nose isn't like going nuts. Okay, so we'll get started. I have a stack of brittles here, so hopefully we won't be here too long. I'm going to try and keep this a moderate length video <laughs> because I tend to ramble. So the first one I have here is, let me move these over here because I know I'm going to drop them. <laughs> the first one I have here is Mountainside Chateau. This is a warm fragrance of vanilla, sandalwood, and white cedar will delight your senses with touches of the outdoors. You know me, you know I'm a sucker for outdoorsy blends, any tree blends, any outdoorsy ambiance like that type blends, nature type blends, I'm going to love. And just no surprise that this brittle is so beautiful. The touches of white in there scattered throughout are just so pretty. And the back is like this salmon kind of color. So let's see. Oh my god, I smell it already. Mmm. Okay. Predominantly her cedar with sandalwood, which is so pretty. Her cedar 
is tight is like kind of sharp but I don't mind. I love woodsy and tree blends and notes like that. So I really like this. But it is more of like a sharp cedar. It almost like gives a minty, a hint of like a minty vibe because of how crisp the cedar is. And then the sandalwood and the vanilla kind of just warm it up and make it a little bit creamier. This is pretty. I definitely feel like aside from cedar though, I'm almost picking up like a pine. So I guess that might be the touches of the outdoors. Like I almost get like a, a pinch of like pine or dirt in here. Definitely. I can differentiate the cedar and the pine. So that's why I feel like there definitely is more than one type of tree oil in here. And then you get like a, like another earthy note, which kind of is reading dirt to me. If any of you have gotten Mountainside Chateau, let me know what you think if you pick up the same thing. But this is really pretty really like this i think the tree notes and the sandalwood are just gonna be so beautiful and warm together i'm excited to melt this this is very strong on cold so i know i'm not gonna have to wait long to melt this one so i'm excited to try this one out next i have moonstruck on the beach so this is a beach nights blend and her moonstruck over coffee is one of my absolute favorite coffee blends across across the board it's um, blackberry jam butter cookies with zucchini bread, coffee. Um, anyway, so that's like the Moonstruck over coffee. And then this is Moonstruck on the beach. So this is blackberry jam butter cookies, zucchini bread, vanilla bean Noel, which that is the Moonstruck blend. And then with the addition of the on the beach, the toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and s'mores. When I saw that she combined these two, I... At first, I had three brittles of this in my cart, and I was like, you need to chill. <laughs> so I know Julie's been really well, like really good, I should say, at taking requests. So I know I'm going to absolutely love this. And once I get through the brittle, I will request it again, whether she pour it in loaves or brittles. I'll definitely buy it again. But I'm trying to be better with not blackout buying. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I just can't help but show you how pretty this is. That purple with the green oh my god so pretty and the back is the cream color too so let's see i can smell the blackberry jam butter cookies as i'm holding this up to the camera <laughs> her blackberry is just gorgeous it it doesn't read floral to me her blackberry jam butter cookie is just a delicious sweet like blackberry blackberry jam like it's supposed to be and then you get like a like a shortbread cookie which that takes over the blend. To me, her blackberry is very strong. It's juicy. And it, for the most part, and what I've experienced with her blackberry jam butter cookies and blends, it dominates. And no difference with this. You get that sweet blackberry jam. You get the butteriness of the shortbread cookie. And then I'm getting the salty sea air and the zestiness of the zucchini bread. I'm not getting much toasted marshmallow. I think that will come out on warm. But yeah, I think the... The beautiful blend of like the blackberry jam butter cookie, the zucchini bread, and the salt and the salty sea air is just really nice. It keeps this blend from being too sickeningly sweet with that blackberry jam butter cookie because the saltiness from the salty sea air and the zucchini bread really balance this out well. Oh my god, this is so good. I knew I would love this combination. I'm so happy that she offered this. If I see this again before I even melt this. I have no self-control and I'll probably buy more, but if you are a blackberry jam butter cookie fan and you like beach nights, you need to try Moonstruck on the Beach. I hope you love it. It's so, it smells so good. I can't wait to warm this. All right, so next one here is Fall Leaves and Cider. And before you all come for me, I know, <laughs> I know several months ago I did my fall collection video and I said that I have no business buying fall wax. So... Don't mind these couple of brittles <laughs> along with the prior Rose Girls haul I did with all the fall blends, you guys. I'm just a sucker for wax, obviously, and fall blends. Just don't listen to anything I say when I tell myself I'm going to limit myself because obviously it doesn't happen. <laughs> so this is Fall Leaves and Cider. This is a blend of leaves, apple cider, and donuts. Doesn't specify what kind of donuts, so I guess we'll try and figure that out. But this is really pretty this combination of like this mossy green with the orange and the red and the back is the green color so pretty let's see 
I'm holding it upside down for crying out loud. Mmm. The leaves, first and foremost, like Bath and Body Works leaves, that's what it's, that's what it reminds me of. Maybe it's because of the apple cider, like the spices of the apple cider. I actually don't get any donut. Not at all. Nope. Maybe it probably will come out on warm and kind of just like come alive that way. But on cold, I'm not getting any sort of donut. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like an apple cider donut. It just says end donuts. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a cider donut or a cinnamon sugar donut or just like a doughy note. But I don't detect like any bake, uh, bakery note per se. It's definitely like a spicy version, a spicier version of Bath and Body Works' leaves, which I'm not mad about. I love that. And I think this will be really nice to pair with like just a different like sugar cookie blend if you want to add more bakery to it or you could blend it with like some espresso and make it like a apple you know like an apple cider with coffee this is pretty I think this will be a really nice blender and I'm hoping the donut comes out on warm but even if it doesn't like I said I'll probably just blend it with like a sugar cookie if I want to give it like that sort of bakery vibe but this is pretty really nice full leaves and cider so if any of you got this too let me know what you think do you get any bakery in this because I'm not getting nothing but with this sample here my nose could just be going rogue so I really don't know <laughs> so that is full leaves and cider all right three more next one is full invite so full invite is warm apple pie with sweet and spicy essence of cinnamon peach cobbler. I love peach cobbler. I don't think I've ever tried Julie's peach cobbler on its own, but I know just from having other vendor wax, you know, vendor waxes that are peach cobbler, I know that I really enjoy it. A lot of people are hit or miss with peach that comes off very like urine smelling to people. Thankfully, I'm not one of those people. I tend to really enjoy peach. I don't get a BO or urine smell from it. I really just get like a, a lot of time just a sweet juicy peach like it's supposed to be, thankfully. Um, but who knows? Let's, let's try it. Warm apple pie with the sweet and spicy essence of cinnamon peach cobbler. Mmm, okay. Hmm. I'm definitely getting like a cinnamon sugar and like a flaky pie crust, which I guess is like from the warm apple pie. I'm definitely getting like a pie crust note with cinnamon sugar. And it's honestly not as strong on the peach on cold as I thought it would be. Let's try the back side. The peach is more so on the bottom. And it is like a, this is different from any peach I've ever smelled. It's definitely like a spicier peach. It's pretty, not sure how I feel about it being like a spicy peach, but I'm sure once it warms up, I'll enjoy it more. It's good. It's just, I don't love this on colds like I thought I would, but that says nothing because we all know you need to actually warm a blend in order to say whether you love it or hate it. Um, or whether it would be a repurchase, but on cold, it's not appealing as much to me as I thought it would based on the notes. Yeah, so it's okay. I don't dislike it. It's just okay to me. And I'm hoping as I warm it, I'll grow to really like it. So yeah, that is Fall Invite. I'm looking forward to trying this one. I really hope it surprises me. Let's close the baggie here, Stephanie. Come on now. Okay. Two left. The next one is Pumpkin Cinnabons. I'm so excited to try this. So Pumpkin Cinnabons is pumpkin souffle and cinnamon pastry with buttercream frosting. Sounds heavenly. Automatically, when I read the description of this on the scent list, I pictured Cinnabon in the mall, like me walking around with a gigantic cinnamon bun and just in heaven. So I'm hoping that's what this reminds me of, but like with a fall twist. So pretty. I can't help but show these, you guys. I'm sorry. They're just so stunning. Are you kidding me? 
this is phenomenal oh my god this is so good that warm the pumpkin souffle makes this like such a warm oh just like a warm comforting bakery oh my god that warm cozy like cinnamon pumpkin and then you get the like creaminess of the buttercream frosting i'm like i can, can't even find words to say because this is so so good my mouth is watering oh my god Mmm, that delicious spice pumpkin souffle with the buttercream frosting. This is delicious. Cinnamon buns with pumpkin souffle. Yes, and buttercream frosting. Like, I just picture a big old dollop of the buttercream frosting on top of the cinnamon bun with, like, a little bit of, like, pumpkin spice powder on it. Oh, my God. I could talk about this for the next 20 minutes, how good this smells. Like, I could just try and describe and describe and describe it to paint the perfect picture for you of how good this is <laughs> i'm like speechless you guys if you see pumpkin cinnabons offered please buy it because i want to see how excited you are when you smell it i hope you're excited as i am oh my god this is so good okay if any of you got pumpkin cinnabons and you love it or whatever the case is, you got it, please let me know your thoughts because this is so, so good. I'm definitely requesting this again because I want more of it already. <laughs> I might actually put this in later when I change out my wax again. Oh my God. Well, apparently that's my favorite from the order so far and I still have one more to do. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay, that just made me so happy. The last one I have here is Sugared Balsam. So sugared balsam is warm, calming tonalities of vanilla intertwined with aromatic balsam fir notes and resinous cedar wood. Again, I'm a sucker for the tree notes. I can't help it. I want to say... No, I don't think this is her dupe for... No, I don't think so. I want to say this is a, a dupe that I thought this was a dupe for Bath and Body Works's um, Fresh Balsam candle, but I don't think so because I don't think theirs has vanilla in it. I might be wrong, um, but anyway, let's see. Beautiful greens. Love the color scheme of this one. Ooh, this is nice. For all you people who aren't into tree scents, don't even bother with this because this is straight up balsam and cedar wood. So Chris, Dazzling Sense of Chris, I know you're not a tree lover. I know sometimes you like to put yourself out there and try a wild card. I don't know if this one would be for you though, but this is gorgeous. I think this would be beautiful paired with like a sugar cookie to tone it down, but this is straight up balsam and cedar and i'm here for it i really like it i feel like this can just like totally clear out your sinuses like it has like that that minty aspect that i get from <clears throat> a lot of tree oils and then that vanilla kind of just makes it a, a tad bit creamy do not get me wrong this is not a creamy tree blend at all but i could definitely pick up how the vanilla is kind of just blending together the balsam and cedar so that it's not like two totally sharp tree notes the the vanilla kind of like balances them out this is so pretty very nice exactly what i expected it to be this is beautiful i think this would be beautiful if you have like a campfire marshmallow wax or like a sugar cookie and you want to make like your own little christmas blend this is really pretty and it'd be really nice on its own too or if you pair it with like a smoky blend i think this is going to be a really nice blender too as well as just on its own so let's get this bad boy back in here. And that's everything, you guys. I'm glad I was able to keep this under 30 minutes because <laughs> we all know that's usually not my style. But fabulous haul. I'm happy with everything I got. I am very excited to wall. Wall. <laughs> I just need to stop talking now. I'm really excited to warm fall invite. And I hope that peach and the apple just really come alive. And I hope I 
grow to really like it on warm and goes without saying i'm gonna throw this bad boy in probably later if not tomorrow and i cannot wait to experience pumpkin cinnabons this is everything i need this in a loaf i'm gonna request it next pre-order even though i have no business buying and please if you have received this radiant leaves sample or you have it in a brittle or you've warmed it please let me know how it does on warm do you get bubble gum or am i completely losing my shit excuse my french Again, even after smelling everything, it still smells like this. The bubble gum. I don't know, you guys. Not, I'm not hating it. It's just bizarre to me because I know that's not what it's supposed to be. As I said already, now I'm repeating myself. But anyway, <laughs> I got to get off of here because I'm, I'm going to just sit here and talk all day. But I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me here. If you got any of these same scents that I picked up, comment below and let me know if you've warmed any of them same thing let me know how you like them if you're new here and you want to join in on the chaos be sure to subscribe so you can continue to hang out with me and chat i would love to have you here and i hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a fabulous week ahead and stay well take care bye